How much a ski bends is a direct result of edge angle. A lot of people think that it's all about pressure and how hard you push on the ski. As you can see here, no matter how hard you push down on the ski, it won't bend anymore because the ground is in the way. In this example, you'll notice that when you put the ski on the edge, the tip and tail remain on the ground and the middle lifts off due to the side cut of the ski. Simply balancing on the ski with your body weight will cause the ski to bend until the middle of the ski is touching the ground and the ski is bent into an arc. It's the ski travelling forwards on this arc that creates the turning effect. If you tip the ski on a higher edge angle, there is now slightly less tip and tail touching the ground and an even bigger gap underneath the middle. Just like before, if you balance on the ski so that your foot is directly between centripetal force and your centre of mass, the ski will again bend into an arc, but this time the radius of the arc will be much tighter. While bending a ski does require your balance or body weight, it is the increase in edge angle that tightens the radius of the arc, and not pressing or pushing harder on the ski. The difference between slicing and carving is that when you're slicing, you increase the edge angle enough so that the ski slices and you ride that radius arc. This is determined completely by the shape of the ski. When you're carving, you are tightening the arc by increasing the edge angle and allowing the ski to bend more.